Here it comes! Boom shakalaka! Hi everyone, this is Vavo speaking again and this is my second video in English here on Boom Shakalaka. If you didn't watch the first, the link is on the description or just click right here on the card later, not now. So what about today's video? It's a new updated version of a video I released in Portuguese in December 2017, almost three years ago. Back then I made a video with the then seven occurrences when NBA teammates had triple doubles in the same game. But since then there are five new occurrences and in 2017 I didn't know about one game in the 50s, I couldn't track the box score back then, so that's why the total now is 13. 13 pairs of teammates who had triple doubles in the same NBA game. Go! Bob Cousy and Tom Heinsohn, April 5th, 1958. The first occurrence of triple doubles in the same game recorded is in the game 4 of the 1958 NBA Finals. Boston won the game, lost the series against the St. Louis Hawks, but in game 4, the duo made history. Bob Cousy finished with 24 points, 13 boards and 10 assists, while Heinsohn had 17, 13 and 10. Bucky Buckhorn and Oscar Robertson, January 18, 1962. Oscar Robertson is the all-time leader in triple doubles with 189, including playoffs, and it was expected to at least once a teammate of his had gotten a triple double to in the same game. The teammate is Arlen Bucky Buckhorn. Buckhorn had 19 points, 10 rebounds and 12 assists, while Big O had 28, 14 and 16 in a game against Will Chamberlain's Philadelphia Warriors. Donnie Butcher and Ray Scott, March 14, 1964. Playing for the Detroit Pistons against the New York Knicks, both Butcher and Scott had tremendous performances. Butcher had a triple 15 with 19 points, 15 rebounds and 15 assists. Ray Scott, who would be the coach for the Pistons later, had 23 points, 20 rebounds and 11 assists. Lenny Wilkins and Art Harris, March 12, 1969. The Seattle Supersonics defeated the San Diego Rockets 125-112. Art Harris, who played only five games in his debut season for the Sonics, had on this day the only triple-double of his career, with 14, 10 and 10. Lenny Wilkins had 10 triple-doubles in a four-year stint playing for Seattle, in this game a big one with 36 points, 14 boards and 14 assists. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at Magic Johnson, January 22, 1982. It was a game against the young team of the Detroit Pistons, Kareem was a monster with 19 points, 10 rebounds and 10 blocks. Magic had an ordinary night with 26, 16 and 12, and for the Pistons, Isaiah Thomas had 14, 8 and 11. Could have been the only game in NBA history with three triple-doubles, he got two rebounds short. Larry Bird and Robert Parrish, March 29, 1987. Bird finished with 17, 13 and 12, while Parrish got his usual double-double and 10 assists for the first and only time in his career. By the way, Parrish had only two triple-doubles in his 1,611 games, NBA record for games in a career. But the other triple-double of his was with points, rebounds and blocked shots. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, January 3, 1989. Both had a lot of triple-doubles while playing together for the Bulls, but this was the only time when they got triple-doubles in the same game. Jordan got 41, 10 and 11, plus 6 steals, and Scottie got 15, 10 and 12. It was a home game against the much weaker Los Angeles Clippers, but the game was close, 126-121 in overtime. Vince Carter and Jason Kidd, April 7, 2007. It was an overtime game against the Wizards nearly the end of the 06-07 regular season. Vince Sanity was insane with 46 points, 16 rebounds and 10 assists, while Jason Kidd had only 10 points but also 16 boards and 18 assists plus 9 turnovers and 4 steals. Here is the footage from NBA TV with the original stats as they were shown on TV later that day. Now the final 5 occurrences that happened after I launched the first video in 2017. Lonzo Ball and LeBron James, December 15, 2018. In a blowout against the Charlotte Hornets, Lonzo Ball finished the game with 16 points, 10 rebounds and 10 assists. His sidekick, a guy named LeBron James, also got his with 24 points, 12 rebounds and 11 assists in only 30 minutes. They were with a 18-11 record at this point, but later, with LeBron's groin injury, the team missed the playoffs. Paul George and Russell Westbrook, February 11, 2019. 
it was Paul George's MVP caliber season when he would later finish third in MVP voting. He finished the game with 47 points, 12 rebounds and 10 assists. Russ got one of the 34 triple-doubles on that season with 24, 14 and 11. The Thunder beat the Blazers 120-111. Stephen Curry and Draymond Green, May 20th, 2019. This is the second occurrence and the last one so far in a playoff game. It was the fourth and final game of the Western Conference Finals when the Warriors swept the Blazers. Portland once led by 17 in the third quarter, but the Warriors won the game and closed the series in OT. Curry got 37 points with 13 boards and 11 assists and Dre got 18, 14 and 11. Bama Depayo and Jimmy Butler, December 10th, 2019. In an overtime hit win against the Atlanta Hawks, Adebayo got a 30-point triple-double along with 11 rebounds and 11 assists. Jimmy Butler had 20 points, 18 boards and the final 10th assist with 54 seconds left in overtime. They are both playing the NBA Finals for the first time right now. Ja Morant and Jonas Valanciunas, August 13th, 2020. For those who don't know, I am a commentator on NBA League Pass in Portuguese and I was on this game. It was the last one of the 8 seeding games for the Memphis Grizzlies and they needed to win in order to advance to the play-in tournament. Valentinus got his triple-double very early and Jamorant got 10 points and 10 boards very early too. The last assist came with 3 minutes left in a pass to this Gorgi Jenks 3-pointer from the corner. So, no player appears twice on this list, but one of them was almost there. He is not because one of his teammates didn't grab the last rebound, but yeah, it was not his fault, actually. It was a game between the Bulls and the Cavs in 2017. Jimmy Butler already had a triple-double in this game, and D. Wade needed that last rebound to get 1-2. But in the last shot of the game, without knowing, Brazilian Cristiano Felicio ruined Butler and Wade's night. Way didn't like it. <laughs> Come on, Felicio, pay more attention, my man. And that's the final list with 13 pairs of teammates that had triple doubles in the same NBA game. Hope you all enjoying these new updated versions for my Portuguese videos. Thanks for the audience. One more time. See you next time. Oh, Felicio <laughs> stole his rebound, <laughs> and Way knew it. <laughs> Had a chance for the triple level if he got that rebound, but Felicio deflected it out. My teammate didn't want me to be great. <laughs> but uh, Jimmy got one, so we all good. He said it was set up for you perfectly. Yeah, it was set up for me perfectly. They shot it, it came up right on my side, but my teammate didn't want me to be great. It's all good.